41 Cooper Square, the new academic building at New York's Cooper Union for the advancement of science and art, looks nothing like its 19th century neighbors. But according to its designer, Tom Main of Morphosis Architects, that doesn't stop it from fitting its context. All of our work is, is um, from the beginning, has been interested in a um, balancing um, uh, a, a, something that you would call contextual, meaning it, um, it values um, uh, kind of found site situations and um, amplify those or um, adjust to those, and at the same time is um, provoked. The project stands directly across from Cooper Union's foundation building. The Morphosis building answers the older structure's Italianate brownstone facade with a glass cube wrapped in a perforated stainless steel skin. It starts in a more generic sense, the orthogonal building as you start here, and it moves into something that has um, broader formal properties that's more interpretive of kind of the capabilities of the second skin. The curved surface, it's actually, if you get closer, it's going to be much more subtle that you're going to realize if you're on the street. It's curving in plan in a very subtle way, this way, and, the, and it's very obviously curved in section. Um, it's receiving the energy of the city, and, uh, and then, of course, it's lifting up. It's tilting up as it orients towards the, the primary entry. The skin reduces solar heat gain in the summer and helps retain heat in the winter. With it and other features, the building is on track to receive LEED Platinum certification from the U.S. Green Building Council. What it allows us to do is to um, uh, consciously choose that part of the building that we want to make uh, explicit and transparent. So what you're looking at, that opening that cuts around, is the vertical space. And um, there's, there's benches and sitting areas all in that area, and that's the heart of the school. That's the connective tissue. Inside. A narrow atrium pierces the center of the 175,000 square foot building, reaching up nine stories to a set of clear story windows. A steep grand stair rises through the first four floors, while elevators carry occupants to floors three and eight only. Occupants access other floors via a series of stairs lined with internally illuminated balustrades that jut across the atrium according to a diagonal grid pattern conceived by the architect. The move was designed to both conserve energy and encourage walking, though a secondary elevator also serves all floors of the building. Morphosis covered sections of the atrium with acoustic paneling to reduce noise. The firm connected the entire system visually with a geometric lattice made from glass fiber reinforced gypsum over a steel armature the net-like form cascades to the ground floor from the full height of the space. The, the, the diagram that goes through is, forms the space. Um, and it forms the space in a very particular way. So when you're looking up, it becomes the reference point of the, of the stairs, the space that it occupies. It's not um, a Cartesian language. It's a, it's a fluid language that moves up. But it forms the space that you can understand, right? And then the stair occupies it, but the space got smaller and smaller. And so now the space and the stair are vying for the same thing because it's um, the program kept pushing the space because we're, we're at the very edge of, of, of credibility in terms of producing the amount of um, square footage we need for the, for the program within this envelope. 41 Cooper Square primarily houses Cooper Union's engineering program with space dedicated to visual art and architecture as well. Its facilities include classrooms, faculty offices, laboratory space, art studios, a theater, and a gallery. It also features a partially green terrace. Maine conceived the entire project as a vertical version of a college campus, with places for students to congregate scattered throughout the atrium. So we took the, the public space and we tilted it. And uh, we gave it two primary locations. The stair becomes one, and, and one, the, the most conventional maybe, the stair being the Spanish steps or being the mat or whatever, right? And then, and then it turned up and there are these two spaces that are the common uh, meeting grounds at five and eight. The whole idea was the connection of people and the breaking down of the, um, uh, the, the, bul the balkanizing that takes place in departments, even in schools like this, that talk about the relationship between engineering, art, and architecture. In fact, the goal is to make those people talk.